attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. Hello everyone, it's the Nation of Podcation Daily Podcast. I'm O'Shea. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the real underscore O Barber Brand and at Nation of Podcation on Instagram and TikTok. Wow. So we had so much positive movement in this Hot Boys reunion, and now we have had a major setback. Unfortunately, it looks like hip hop superstar and recently released rapper after 12 long years of being locked up, hip hop star BG has got himself in trouble again. Now, this time it wasn't for nothing too crazy. It wasn't for guns. It wasn't for violence. It wasn't for witness tampering. It wasn't for nothing like that. If this was for a man that's trying to change his life, doing what he used to do, but doing it the honest way. So BG got himself in trouble for actually doing rap shows with convicted felons. You know, as a felon and somebody that's recently released from prison, you're not supposed to be around anybody with a criminal record, not supposed to be around any convicted felons, anybody that has a felony on their record, you're not supposed to do that. Well, unfortunately, BG has been working with quite a few felons. He did the Choppers and Bricks album with Gucci Mane. He did the song with Kevin Gates. He also did a concert with Boosie Badass. So I know the law is not happy about that. So apparently the people in New Orleans weren't happy about that. BG lives all the way in Las Vegas now. They actually took him back to New Orleans allegedly and arrested him and are working on some sort of agreement so he can start working again. Now this is a big blow to the Hot Boys because if he can't be around convicted felons, then how is this Hot Boys tour gonna work? Because Turk is a convicted felon, got the album called Convicted Felons and he is a convicted felon. Been locked up, was locked up for eight years so it's a lot of stuff going on there i know Lil wayne had the gun charge so he's got a felony gun charge on him too so how can bg be able to move around and tour with the hot boys if he can't be around convicted felons so i know they said that they're working on that friend of my channel terrence gangster williams the half brother of cash money co-founders birdman and slim he made a video on his channel about it giving his thoughts and opinions on it i'm gonna play a couple clips of that let's tune in damn said because he did the album with Gucci Man. He did the concert with, 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 with Boosie in the videos he's been doing. This man come home doing something positive and he mad. See, that's exactly my point there. So BG came home. He went back to doing what he was doing. Not the drugs, not the guns, not the violence, not the running around. He's a married man now. He was doing his thing. He was just in the studio making music. He's just trying to tour and start getting some of this money back that he's been missing over the last 12 years. And they got him sitting back down saying, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that. Let's tune back in. The man making legal legitimate when he moved from New Orleans relocated and start his life over and y'all still come on this ain't fair that's facts. Now, Gangsta Williams, he's always trolling the hot boys and always trolling cash money and making some videos about them. But he has a point here. The man did come out of jail trying to do an honest living, what he's used to doing. It's not like BG's known anything else in his life other than being a rapper. So he's just going back out doing his own thing. And now we've got these holdups. Let's listen to the rest of Gangsta Williams. You got rappers that's out on federal probation right now that's doing something that's selling millions, that's doing anything. And it's cool, it's cool when they do it, but it's a problem when he do it. Facts. So I'm gonna have to agree with Gangsta Williams here. That's a whole lot of rappers that are convicted felons that are around here running around all over the states touring with everybody and there is no sort of penalty for them they're around felons they are felons and you know that's supposed to be the law you can't be around felons if you are a convicted felon trust me i know sad to see that they want to lock bg up for doing something positive with his time that he's been home nation what do you think about gangster williams comments what do you think about bg getting locked up again what do you think about this hot boys reunion is it gonna happen is it gonna be stalled do you think bg will be able to move around the way he's supposed to nation let me know in the comment section down below make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button on your way out hey. O'Shea and I've been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea.